Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 29th of March. Hope you're having a good, good Friday so far. Of course, many markets are closed, but we are seeing some Asian equity markets open as well as the FX markets at this stage. So just to give you an update about where things are and what's happening, and of course, update on where we finished last night. US equity markets generally posted small gains again before the long weekend. We saw new record highs on the S&P 500 and Dow, uh, which closed the quarter, of course, and it was the strongest Q1 since 2019. So five years since we've seen such a strong quarter with the S&P up 10%. There is key data tonight, despite market closes, that US PCE year-on-year -year data is out later. US futures are flat in early trading today. Asian markets following the US lead so far, ASX is closed, uh, but the Nikkei and the Chinese market is both in positive territory. The US dollar index port yesterday again, as I said, futures contracts not trading today, but we did see gold also surge to new record highs at 22.30. Copper held over that $4 level and all pushed through resistance and closed the end of October levels to around about 83 on the WTI contract. Bitcoin continues to pause just below 71,000. And of course, the US year on year PCE data is the highlight today. And the market response, of course, with them being closed, will be on Monday. Also noteworthy is the Fed chairman, Jerome Powell, is speaking subsequent to that data release. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any new information given to the markets to digest over the weekend. Just a quick chart of the day. And we're looking at the GB pound Australian dollar. Put it on a 30 minute chart. Looks as though there's some interesting price action going on today. You can see a very choppy session yesterday. Uh, but we did come down and we closed around this 193.62 during Asian trading. You can see it's tested this multiple times already. So this is becoming a very established support. A breach of this would offer an opportunity which we think might be fairly high probability, down around 40 pips towards this 193.20 level. You can see it was trading in this range for around about four days. Uh, so a breach of that could take us all the way down to there. So the one worth keeping an eye on later today, but only consider, of course, if there's a breach to the downside. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.